Hi good everyone. Af- Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And we're Independent Stamping Up Demonstrators. So, yes. Right, let's, there we go. We're on live. Excellent. Yay. And the volume's down. Yeah, yes. say hello as soon as you come in. Um, and we are... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Somebody's on straight away. Yes. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Sorry, you, you put us off <laughs> waiting there instantly. It's like, wow, okay. Thank <laughs> you for joining us. Yes, so uh, today we're going to finish off with the double wonder cards that I started yesterday. But Barry's going to create the rest my, of the cards. Yeah, it's my turn today. Yes. So Jay did with his, a twist. Jay did his five last night. Five. five. Yes, I did five. five. <laughs> Jay did five last night. I'm going to do, well, I was going to make six, but um, it's turned down to, gone down to four. Yes. Um, because I'm, I'm putting another little... I'm changing it up a little bit. So still using what Jay did a pre-cut from last night though anyway. Yes, so normally the Double Wonder cards using two design series papers or pattern papers. Uh, 6 by 12 creates 11 cards. But Barry's going to use up three elements from uh, three cards into one. So he's going to change it up slightly. But if you... Um, stick to the normal layouts it will create 11 and i created five yesterday as um mentioned already but yes i'm i'm looking forward to what you're gonna how you're gonna change it up a little bit yeah well we'll see yes i don't know whether or not we're actually live or not it seems everything seems to be freezing so um so give us a yeah can somebody let us know if we're thumbs up if you if we're still okay or is it our internet hi Mar- margie I think we're okay. Yeah, because I think Mar- we Mar- are. Mar- Mar- Margie just... I think it might just be... So, yeah, so... Uh, we thought we'd share the cards that we created for our online class that we did um, Tuesday, just gone. And we used DSP for those as well. Let's have a look. Well done, setting your timer. Well done. <laughs> Hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Hello. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, our first online class, we did um, Daisy Lane and Daisy Delight. So this is one of our cards. So using the DSP and the um, corresponding coordinating punches, med- medium Daisy punch and the, the Daisy punch for that one. Uh, again, using the design series paper there, Garden Lane uh, yes. design. And for the second one, just showing you how to create with offcuts and using your embossing folders as well, um, with the layered leaves, and that's retiring, I believe. And just showing some different techniques or uh, usage for your punches as well. And then the last one using Garden Lane DSP again with the medium daisy punch and the detailed bands dies. So we, sh- we demonstrated how to create those three cards in our online class. And uh, stick to the end, um, and we will show you a sneak peek of what we will be creating on our masculine-themed online class, which Jeez. is available for worldwide for the PDF and the video live demonstration. Or if you can't join us live, there is going to be a Facebook group, a private one, where you can sh- watch the replay and see how, how much fun it is to create online uh, via Zoom because we normally have all of the attendees um, sharing their creations as well yeah. on there. So that's good. So if you're interested in any of our classes, head over to our website or on Facebook, head over to our events page where you can see all of our upcoming classes on there on our website, matusucrafts.com. Um, and go to book a class and then everything's listed down there. It's open to demonstrators and customers um, alike. So um, even if you're a, d- a demonstrator watching this, you can join us for our classes. That's not a problem. Hi, okay. Lisa. Yes, hi, Lisa. So we've got a few of you here, which is good. So like Jay said, stick on to the end and um, sneak peek of what we've been making. We've got a limited card kits available for the masculine class still available. And look what came on the post yesterday. Ooh. So this is the new annual catalogue by Stampin' Up! 2020 to 2021. Uh, so we've had a sneak peek of what's um, coming up. 
and we are so excited to what we're gonna be sharing yeah. soon and um, in the near future with you guys. So that just brings me on to my next thing, which I want to say: if anyone would like to get a catalogue, um, please send us an email and register register your interest. Oh, when cat's trying to jump, and get in the action. He wants a catalogue. <laughs> <laughs> give me a catalogue. I want to sit on it. Um, reg give us send us an email. Register your interest, and we can um, we we'll be happy to send you out a catalogue um, if you would like one. So. Please let us know. Hello, Tommy. Hi, Anna. Hello. Hi, Kerry. Okay, so um, let's flip around. Yes. So are you going to have a quick recap on what we oh, did yes. yesterday? Yeah, I could do. Yes. So you go, we'll do that face to face. Yeah. yeah. So the five cards that I created using the Double Wonder um, Design Series Paper Technique are these. So I used the Press Petal Design Series Paper and um, changed the up. So I cut the pattern paper and use the metric sizes because I um, the double wonder card as previously mentioned on the video were um, inspired by Shannon West and I used Julie Davison's uh, PDF but that PDF is in Met Imperial and in US sizes as well to, um, for their card bases so I changed it up slightly to fit our UK A4 size um, card base or well that's A6 but you know what I mean so I, I've kind of like just re um, reconfigured the measurements and I, I, I am doing a graphic for for that as well so hopefully <clears throat> that will help you even more excellent yes so good so yeah so that was say Jay's um, I'm gonna be using the second part of what Jay didn't create last night um, this one's going to bank me so much good stuff. Yes, there is some. Um, we'll see, we've got some of our team joining us here. So, yes, you've seen the catalogue yourself as well. And it is very, very nice. So, um, yeah. But we can't show you inside just yet. We're not yes. allowed to. No. <laughs> um, can't see that until June. Um, unless you want to be a common demonstrator, and then you can see it now. <laughs> good. All right. Stop teasing everyone. <laughs> Okay, so Barry's gonna go there. Right then, oh, nearly lost my seat. Okay, so, um, Melissa, thank you for joining us. All right, so, like I said, as Jay's mentioned already, um, double wonder. So, I am gonna grab my bits here. I'm gonna try and be careful and not to show you my layout already before I bring it over. Um, because I don't want you to see what I've got planned. Oh, but you can see it on the side of the card. Drat. Eh? <laughs> 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 Never mind. <laughs> so we are using Mossy Meadow, I believe, is the yes. colour of the cardstock which we're using. So the same things which Jay cut last night and the same bits which Jay cut here as well. So that we're going to start off with this one. Um, so keep it nice and simple. I've cut, can I have a ruler please Jada, so yeah. I can just go through the measurements with people. Oh dear. So we've got some of the very vanilla here, which is measuring at 12.2 centimetres by 8 centimetres, which will give us a nice layer around this. So I'm going to keep this one simple, did I? Those were for this card, I think they were. And yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick these on. So I'm going to stick these on in, a, in an alternating pattern. So it's very similar to how Jay did it. Some of them are going to look very similar, but we're going to be using a different stamp set today. So the stamp set which I am actually going to be using is a new one which is coming up in the new catalogue. And it's the Ornate Thanks stamp set. So it's a new stamp set. Um, and I like it because it's got some really nice big thank yous on it and some nice wording as well which goes with this. So this is what we're going to be using. Um, yeah, so we're just going to stick this down, keep it nice and simple. And except these layouts which we're doing can be used for any paper you have. It doesn't matter. The layout is, the, the layout is universal. But just use up your paper and... Just use it up. I'm just gonna. It's just, just gonna make sure I just move it, and that's why I like liquid glue because even though you get a little bit of movement, 
So yeah, so if you've got some mail um, cards, and you've got some mail orientated design the series paper, change up the the paper. Maybe as adding some embossing with it, so you can do some heat embossing if you want to. You can just do some dry embossing. So with your um, embossing folders just to create some texture on the back on something as well. There's nothing wrong with you, I've not done it yet, but you could probably run this entire panel for an embossing folder and, design, and, and emboss your designer series paper. There's another idea for you. So it kept that one nice and simple there. That's going to go on and I'm going to stick that down in a second. I've got some of the Nature's Twine here as well, which Jay likes using this one here, and I'm going to be using the brown one, which is crom cake, if I remember correctly. Um, doesn't tell me on the. Oh yeah, crumb cake. It says it on the packet, so which is good. Um, and I am going to create some some swirly bits, and I may tie by. We'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, may tie by. So I'm going to do some stamping now. So I'm going to grab some of my very vanilla cardstock. So this is an off cut which Jay gave us a lot, which Jay had last night. And I'm going to use the nice big thank you stamp here. Um, hi Rebecca. So what's that morning guys? Just caught up with some my sessions last night. You two cheer my, cheer my day up. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, new cat just arrived in the post. Need to peel open and watch while we're catching, whilst we're crafting. Happy days, take care. Thank you very much. Yes, oh, please, we um, we cheer you up. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use the nice big thank you here, and I'm using the what size block is this? This is the H block which I'm using. I am also going to grab the coordinating ink which goes with the cardstock here, which is the Mossy Meadow ink. So rather than stamping in black all the time, we're going to stamp in the coordinating colours. And I am going to get this nice and inky. And I'm going to just put it down in the centre, in the bottom corner down here. Because I want to cut this out with a trimmer in a second. So if I line it up in a way that I don't have to cut two edges, that'd be perfect. So let's get that. And there we go. So I've lined it up over here and over here. So all I'm going to have to do is cut and cut. And it'll be easier for me to put that in the trimmer in a second. Just going to clear up a little bit for me. Bring in the trimmer here. And we're just going to make a banner out of this. So I'm going to... Do this down on the bottom part here because it's easier for me to see. I can see where the cut line is going to go. And I'm just going to then bring this down. I'm going to let go. And I'm going to bring that. Oh, but make sure you don't knock it as you let go of it. I did it again. It's this finger here. And that's that part. And then all I've got to do now then is cut the... Cut this side off over here. Could I have some dimensional scrap? I think it's the only thing which I haven't brought myself over yet. I'm sure there's going to be more that I haven't brought over, but for now. Hi Beth, hi Linda. So there's a nice little thank you. So that's done on the very vanilla as well. And we're going to so that's going to go in the middle. So we can either go with this one here and we can we can wrap that round or we're going to tie a bow. What other ideas do I have with that? I also, actually, I'm also bringing in the bird ballad trinkets here as well. So I'm really going into our stash. And we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this part down here now. center like so let's 
set. Gonna grab my dimensionals. Here are they all large, they're all minis. Let's find the minis. Take your pick tool, and I'm just going to pop some of these dimensionals on the back of this sentiment. Like so. Hi, Alison. And that's going to sit on in a moment once I've taken the backing off. It's going to go in the middle like that. I've got some of this Nature's Twine, and this Nature's Twine is uh, quite a chunky twine. Um, and using Jay's trick, you cut off what you need, and then you kind of split it. So you can peel off, so you've actually got quite a few threads in here. So you just split that thread down and you get, get yourself something thinner. So you, there's another way of you making your twine go even further. And if you like it, it's also a little, because it's quite chunky. Um, tying a bow with this is quite difficult to get quite a chunky knot um, so it, by splitting it it also makes it go a little bit it makes it a little bit easier to tie um, but it does have a little bit of a mind of its own as you can see but I, I'm not I want it to be messy because I kind of want it just to go around the back like so so it's just going to be in like that and that's where the dimensionals are going to now come in and hold that in place. So we're just going to go ahead and peel that off. So by the end of this, with a piece of designer series paper from the cardstock, you'll be able to make nine cards of what we're going to show you. And if you keep it, make it even simpler, you'll be able to get 11 cards out of it with the layout which we've done. And that's going to go, I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer to me, in the centre. Oh. And there's Tommy in the background meowing, he's running around. He gets a bit, a bit excited when he runs around. Don't you Tommy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether or not you could hear him meowing then on the background. So there we go. So that's that. Um, if you, I wanted to, we could tie a bow. Let's see if I can tie a bow on camera. Concentration. So if I wanted to, and you can see that's a little bit easier. It's a little bit of a smaller, smaller knot. So maybe that could go around somewhere in here. I'm going. We'll see. I'll try it out in a moment. And I'm bringing out these bird ballad little trinkets. So these are quite they're quite lovely, and because they're old and kind of like dark and. Vintagey. I felt I went quite well. Yeah, we're coming up. Our oh, glue dots, Jay, please. That's yeah. what I'm trying to um, Coming up with some new words. Vintagey. I don't know if that's a vintagey. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to pop that. It's going to go somewhere around down the bottom down here, like that. So I'm going to grab a glue dot. I'm going to pop that on the back of this trinket. And we're going to stick that down there, like that. That's it, and that glue dot's just helped that together a little bit down there so that's on that back so if we, we could always add a little bit of a lump it all together let's see I'm gonna you know what I'm just gonna go with it nice just gonna nip that tail off there and another glue dot on the back of on the back of that. And let's just... Oh, it would help 
if I stuck it down with a glue dot face down rather than sticking it to my finger. <laughs> like Things like, why is it not sticking? Uh, it's, it's stuck to my finger. Just kind of like lump it all together. Might be a little bit too much of the ribbon down there, but you know what? I'm going to go with it because it's quite a messy little area. So we're going to keep it messy. Let's just bone fold this off here. So there is card number one using that designer series paper. So we've got one which Jay did with the same layout is these two cards here, which is those ones. And there's my one right there. So again, using a different stamp set, it gives you a different, gives you a different style of card as well. There we go. So there is card number one of four. Let's go to card number two. So we're using the same layout again. So I'm using the a different color cardstock. What color card is this, Jay? This is um, soft suede, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. So I'm just going to bone fold this one and get this flat to start off with. Now this time, I'm gonna, I wanna stick the middle one down first. Okay. So I wanna get the middle one in position. sense in the moment. It's just my thought process of how I'm doing this. And now what I want to do is I want to stick this down to the complete card base. When I did the layout of this earlier on whilst I was prepping for it, it looked okay. So I haven't actually made a prototype of this. I don't actually know what the finished project is going to if it's going to all come together, but we will find out. The layout worked, all right. So I'm going to leave those two parts for the moment. I'm going to come back to that part in a second because I'm going to let those get stuck. Pop that in there and over. So what I'm going to need to do is I've got, got myself some spare very vanilla cardstock here so and i am going to just cut myself out a little bit so i will be using these ones so i'm going to be doing some die cutting on this one so jay used punches yesterday so i'm going to do some die cutting um and i'm going to be using the stitched nested label dies this is one which we've had for a little while but still i think it's been one which hasn't been used that much and you know what they're beautiful dies because they're double stitched, they're, they're, they give you a nice little dot around it. Um, if you do some layering with it, you get some nice double double dots, double stitching, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it looks really nice. So the one which I'm going to be using is the larger one out of the two. So I just need to just cut myself off a bit, which is suitable to run through the big chunk. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to grab the big shot. I think you can see that. Yeah, that's good enough. Hi, Linda. And we're going to just run this through now, and you can see what this looks like. I always go back. Um, it's just something which I've pretty much always done. Um, and it's just a habit which we've got into, I think, because where we keep our die cutting machine, we, it stays in a little cubby hole and we cut in the cubby hole of our unit. So it's easier just to run it back through again. 
So you can see now there's the die cut. So it's given us a nice shape and it's given us that nice edging to it as well. And you can see the off cuts. If I had cut this down to a nice rectangle as well, you could have done things. You can use that as an aperture and you've still got some nice, so don't chuck away those. If you think about it, you can use that as a nice aperture to, um, to stamp through. Or you can do something like this and then have that raised up on some foam pads and to add a nice aperture, stamp through that. That's raised up or vice versa. This goes on some foam pads and then raised up. It just It's just another way of using it. So rather than chucking that, you can actually use that. Obviously, I didn't think it through because I've cut it round at a weird angle. Um, but you might be able to do something with that. So that's why these dies are beautiful. So on this one, we will be using the So Grateful stamp. So I just need to clean up a little bit. So I'm using a stamping scrub here to clean our stamps. You can either use a stamping scrub or the Simply Chamois. Two very good tools for cleaning your stamp. and you can clean it and then dry it at the same time and then they're perfect for going back in. Limits the inky fingers as well. Because you're not actually, not like with baby wipes, for example, you're getting gonna have wet ink on wet fingers and then you're gonna transfer it over to your card. So if you get that problem, get yourself, get yourself a chamois or a um, stamping scrub. So the coordinating colours with these is the Daffodil Delight. So we're going to go with Daffodil Delight and use this so grateful. I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer to me so I can see the stamp and I think you can still see that on there at the moment yeah and I'm going to stamp that in the centre like so. And there we go, that's that one. Give myself a clean. Hi Megan. Good evening. Oh, it's very windy out there today, isn't it? Don't know if you can hear that coming from our um, on camera. And let's pop that away. So the good thing with this stamp set on here, which is another one, you've got the nice big thank yous here and then you've got this nice script. And so these scripts, you can then make up your own little sentiments and stays and stayings and sayings. Um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, you, you made my day, thank you. Um, for, all, for all your help, I'm so grateful. So you've got those little things on there as well. From all of us, thanks. Um, thank you for all you do so you can kind of make up so you've got you've got big sentiments if you just want to make some little just do some big bold ones but you can do some big bold ones and then finish it off with some nice little script down here as well which is what i'm going to actually do on this one so we're going to go so grateful for all you do so i'm going to find for all you do which i think is that one there I'll use a block and I tend to, when I'm using with, with things which I want them to be straight, if I tend to put them on like that, I run the risk of maybe pop, popping them on wonky. So pop them down on your, on your table, let, let them fall naturally, and then pick it up. All right, just a little tip there for you. And I'm going to grab the coordinating card um, ink here, so which works well with the whole suite, which is Knight of Navy. So instead of going with your traditional boring black, we're going to stamp the stamping colour. Obviously, and the Knight of Navy is, is, is a close black anyway, um, but it's, it does give you, you can see a different shade there. So, so grateful for all you do. There we go. And that just adds a nice little, just adds something different to it. What I did actually want to do with this one, Jay, if you could grab it for me, is a blend maybe just to, or shall I splat in... I might splat and wink a Stella. Yeah, I've got that over. I've got that over here. Yeah, I was going to do a colour, but because because this is quite a large um, a large area, 
but it needed to be large to be able to fit this sentiment in. There's a lot of empty space, so I just want to fill that space up with something, but what I will need is a bit of um, scrap paper to splat onto as well at the same time. So I'm going to grab a Winkostella brush. We have got some scrap paper because I don't want to, I don't want to ink up the table. As much as I'd love a glittery Winkostella table, um, I don't think it will work. Do you have something edged, um, etched? Yes, this, uh, yeah, we do on this one here. This is part of the team which we belong to. So we are a royal stamper. So that's what we've got there. We've got that given to us as a gift by our upline. Um, so yes, that's the name of our team. So I'm gonna grab the thing and I'm just going to, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a squeeze just to get a little bit of the Stella coming out. And I'm just gonna see why I didn't want to do it on the table. So all that's just gone and done is that's just gone and given some nice, I don't know if I can catch the light on that, but it's just gone and given some interest and some glittery splats to it. So you can do that with a brush if you wanted to. Um, you can do that with a blend, one of the stamping blends to get some colour. So I could have done it maybe with a Knight of Navy um, or a lighter blue potentially to have gone around there to coordinate with that and some of the colours which are in there. But I didn't want to overpower it, so I've gone with something, I've gone with a glitter. So the Winkostella brushes are good for colouring, but also for splatting. Okay, so we're bringing this in now. I've got a bow which I've already pre-tied, so shall I do this? Okay, look, I'm going to tie this again for you on camera. So And they're so easy to undo. So if you make a mistake not happy with it, you just... Going for a coffee with a friend, have a nice day. Thank you for joining us, Linda, enjoy your coffee. So as I do my bows, you kind of do a do a loop. Round we go, feed it through, and then pull. And then you can then manipulate your your bows, your loops, and then just pull it and then manipulate. We learnt this, so again, our upline um, taught us how to make these bows and it's, it's my go-to about tying a bow now. So I just like to just play with the bow a little bit. Just I kind of tend to hold the loops together and then the tails and then pull in opposite directions. One to pull the bows down and then the loops, the, the loops can stay at the top. It just kind of helps get them into place a little bit and we just grab the so we just got to set one if we want to we can make those loops a little bit smaller so you can make some nice little tiny bows and then tie an hour all right so we're going to come back to that one in a sec so that's it okay so that's probably going to go somewhere around in the bottom like that when I come to finish that one off so with these parts what I wanted to do my my idea was I've obviously splatted on that I didn't I didn't move it out of the way but that's fine I like a bit of splat over there these are going to go in at an angle like this so they're going to go in the positions but they're going to go top and bottom like that So that's going to go in. Like that one. Hi Pamela. You're not too late. I'm only, I'm only on card two of four. So thank you for joining us. 
and that's going to go in up to the top. So I've kind of like kept the spacing between the two separate, but I've gone, I've gone off the mat, so I wanted it to stick up like that. We're going to take this again and we're going to grab ourselves some dimensionals. Is there any large dimensionals over there, Jay, by any chance? Of course. Thank you. Because it's a large piece, I'm just going to go with the larger dimensionals. I cover a, I cover a, a bigger surface area with less, less dimensionals. And we have people ask us why we pop these little lines on our dimensionals like this. It's just a way of us being able to see easily what ones we've taken the back enough. So I can see when you're using lots of dimensionals and they all look white, they will all look exactly the same. Whereas I can now go through that and if I get distracted, look away and say, what ones have I taken the back ends off? Well, I know I've taken those ones off and I've still got these three to do. Rather than going around and then sticking your fingers over them and detacking them, it's just a little tip which we um which we which we decided to do and it's just just makes things a little bit easier so get your markers get your stamping blends and just draw lines over them like so just to cover them up that's going to go over like that so that's going to go into the middle I'm gonna bring it, yeah. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna bring it down ever so slightly. No, I'm gonna go there and there, and grab a glue dot. So the the ribbon, the twine, the the ribbon, or the yeah, the what's it called, the twine, the ribbon, the material which has been used on this one here is the braided linen trim, which is the one which I've used to make that lovely little bow. Grabbing my take your pick tool again, which is over here, to be able to take off a glue dot. And we can pop that on the back of this. They are very sticky, so be careful. I'm gonna now stick it down the correct way rather than stick it to my finger. And that's just gonna go down over like that. So there is card number two of four. All right, so we have, there's the first one which we did. So using the same layouts, I may get another, you may want to do a splatter again. It's, you know what, because I have splattered this and because it's all, it all matches, I'm going to I'm gonna do the whole thing so, so I can color in this part a little bit as well. So I'm just gonna grab the, so I'm just gonna just squeeze it out a little bit. That's gonna be the dry one. We've got two. So I'm just giving them a little bit of a squeeze just to push some of the, there you go, that's it. And then, If you want to, you can always squeeze it so it goes down like that. And then grab yourself another block. So it just makes it messy. It just gives you, um, I don't know, it just ties it all in because it's a very, it's a very grungy kind of like the colors which are used. You can see there you've got some nice ink. So just be careful, obviously they are wet. So you just need to pop that to one side before you start putting stuff on top of it or popping it into an envelope. Um, Jay, could you wipe off those Wink of Stella from those brush, from those, what a waste, but sorry, I, I'm gonna. <gasps> I know. Jay wants me to use another. Um, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna use another. <laughs> I know. Hey ho. So card number four. No, card number three of four. You glitter your face. Glitter my face. 
So there's something which is doing the rounds at the moment, which I've seen recently, which is called uh, a stripe card. So one of the things which, and I didn't realise this until after when I was looking at them, so what ideas can I do with these off cuts? So Jay's cut these and they're one inch thick, okay? By 14, if I, if I remember correctly, yeah, by 14. Or two and a half centimeters, yeah, two and a half centimeters by 14 and um, one inch by I'm not sure what that is, one inch by five and a half inches. So, which goes in, we're doing it in metric, try it in metric. <laughs> What, cent what metric? What's metric? Centimeters. Yeah. Okay. See, Jay said Jay talks metric and in imperial to me, but I don't. I get confused with what metric and imperial are. <coughs> um, so if you say centimeters and inches, I know I'm not what you're on about. So centimeters. I did say centimeters at the beginning. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, so it was two inches. two and a half inches by fourteen, oh, and then inches. I converted over two inches. I see. Shushne. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay in my corner. Then. Yeah, stay in your corner. <laughs> See, he's obviously not listening to me, is he? No, I'm doing, I'm doing the template. All right, so that's so the strip card is basically you you want to lay these down in strips. So I'm gonna pop these in like so, and you just alternate this. And I thought it was a it was a perfect way of using these up in something different. So I have, um, well I thought I had, anyway. I know I'm going, I was going to go down, I was going to go down flat onto this card. So you lay it down like so. So you want to position it in a way that it's alternated. And then you then come in over this way and then go in like so. And Oh, it worked earlier on when I did it. What's gone wrong? That's it. So you just need, and then with the bits I'm gonna snip off, we'll then be able to fill this part out over here. So let's start gluing these down. And I actually haven't worked out what I'm gonna use for a sentiment on this one. It's the only one I haven't worked out worked it out for. So I'm going to go start sticking so a bit of glue is going onto this card base. So this is why we've got less cards out of the card pack to what we initially said because you can te technically go one, two and three more cards here but I'm using these all for one card. So which is why, so if you want to make more cards then you can do you just use less strips or you change these strips into cardstock or you use more designer series paper. So just think about how you're sticking this down because you want to be able to make make sure you get the best out of this. I think I've glue's running out. Because if I stick it just down in the middle then I've wasted a bit down here and I've wasted a bit at the top there. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that I only stick down what I need to so that it doesn't look odd. So I'm going down, I'm going to come down off the car stop, car stop a little bit and then I just stick that down. So I'm going to try and achieve the same gap throughout all of this. So this is like using the alternative, so this is where you're getting the, the, the double side of it because you're using both sides of your designer series paper. And towards the end, what you can do is bits which you've missed with the glue and you can go through and then you can then just stick some glue under it. Okay. So that's like that. So then we went with that one, that one and that one. And then the alternate for that one will be either this one or this one over here. So let's start sticking that down. So we just need a little bit. In like that. So I've now just lined it up so it's parallel with 
this one right here. So I'm not sure who to credit for this um, this stripe card. I don't know who initially start, first started to do it, um, but it's it's doing the rounds at the moment. So um, credit to the person that's come up, but I don't actually know who initially because um, there's lots, there's lo there's loads. <laughs> So that's all of those first parts initially stuck down. So now what you do is you get your scissors, you turn it over, and we start just snipping away now. So these bits at the bottom here, we're not fussed about. We can, um, these are gonna probably go in the bin and aren't needed, but save them for the time being because you may need them towards the end to fill out some um, some little gaps. Okay, I'll just that needs tidying up a little bit in the afterwards. So we'll save that one. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a little bit of a tidy up. What you could do is another way, you don't have to go directly onto your card base. You can um, do this on a layer, stick it all down and then run it through your trimmer. There's another way which you can do this as well. So that's that, so that's those ones and then I'm gonna do the same for these bits here. So I'm just gonna fold this one over for the time being. Uh, where did I put my bone folder? Does anyone see where I hid my bone folder? Oh, there it is. So you're just going to cut down. So hopefully we're inspiring you to use your, your lovely pattern paper, which we... Um, as paper crafters, I'm sure we're not the only ones. Buy it, but don't actually use it as well as much as we should do. We use it, but we're always got loads. So use use your papers. So there we go. So that's the first part. So you could even stop there if you wanted to, and um, you could pop like a, a sentiment up the top. So say for example, if I grab one of the sentiments which I, I prepped earlier on, you could always go over there like that. Um, I did the thank you earlier on from a, another card which went in, which I did that in Whisper White. So that could always go in like that. And I, you know what, I actually quite like it, like, like having that gap at the top. So what I'd, I might actually leave it as it is. I, my initial was to continue. So what you do is the bits which you cut off over here will now be the bits which you then pop in like that so you then grab your smaller pieces so that's obviously a little bit too small so I need to find another one which is which is bigger so that's that so that would go in like there and then we'll find another so those flowery bits the you know the bits which I said don't chuck away just yet um let's see if I've got one that's uh no, I think this is the only smallest part I've got will be that one there um, would fit in perfectly over there like that. So let's see what this looks like. So that's obviously if I then cut those bits off that's what it's going to look like and then we could then stick a sentiment in like that. But you know what I actually like it having having it like that. And then it's different to what I've actually seen out there as well. Um, so there's me I'm, I'm changing it ever so slightly. So Again, that was it, my initial idea, but I like this. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna do that one on the um very vanilla, just so it ties in with the rest of the cardstock. And let's have a little look. There was one which I had the strip which I'd done earlier on. 
Then let's see, can I? Can I be cheeky and have a block back which Jay took from me? Yeah. He obviously didn't get the idea, can you take these away and clean them uh, and bring them back? <laughs> It was drying. Anything to get out of cleaning. Just left it there to dry. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He's giving me evil looks now. I'm smiling. <laughs> Don't be telling porkies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so lay it down, let it go natural, pick it up, and we're gonna go in. So I think we will go with the, oh, sorry. What colour shall I go with with this one? What's the dominating colour on that one? Is the If we have a little look, yellow, there is yellow in the card, which is in with the flowers, which work nicely. If I go with a blue, the Knight of Navy, let's go with the Knight of Navy to match with the, to match with the flowers. Let's see if I can, um, I'm going to bring this closer towards me so I can see over it a little bit more. I think you can still see. Um, yeah, you can. That's the one. Jan, what's that? Um, you saw it being done with Diane Hutchinson 18 months ago. Yeah, it's uh, um, yeah, it's a technique which has probably been around for ages and looks like 18 months. Um, it seems to be doing around rounds again. It's, what are you uh, calling it? It's, it's called a stripe card, is what people are calling it. And we'll see. So there we go. And let's just, uh, you know, I'm not going to use my scissors because I know that I will end up getting a wonky line. So let's just. Bring in the good old trimmer, pop a straight edge up against that, and then I know that I'm going to get a straight edge when I cut. And that's why I love this trimmer, it's perfect for doing small bits. You know what, I'm not quite happy with that, so I'm going to go in again, You watch, and I'm going to take off a tiny bit. I wish we got caught in the track. But it's great for cutting small pieces out as well. And that there is going to go over the top of that one. So we use the mini dimensionals here. Let's just see whether or not I need to bring in any ribbon for this at all. Um, I did bring it over. Yesterday on the card which Jay used, he used this lovely ribbon right here. So the um, scalloped linen thread here in the Rococo Rose colour, which again is a colour which coordinates with this sweet. And that could always just go underneath it. So what I might do is I'm going to use a little bit of tear and tape here. Just to give me a bit of an anchor point. Oh, I've used it again, Joe. I'm at anchor point. No. <laughs> so let's just see how much I actually need. So... Gonna go. Right, so I'm gonna go slightly larger than I actually need and then I trim this down afterwards. So that's gonna go there. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this tear and tape has gone there. Peel this double sided off. And 
and then that's just going to then sit over that like so and then that will then sit over the top of that like that there all right i am going to use just a little bit more tear and tape um which i'll say where is it it's right in front of me because i'm not because i don't want this to be flapping around too much so i'm going to have it hanging over so i'm just going to decide how much of this i actually want so i know that side is correct i'm happy with the the length i've got over on that side That's the one, and I'm just going to go a little bit more. On that side, because when the ribbon goes, um, is is free to move on its own. It tends to um, it tends to buckle a little bit, and I want it to go. I want it to be straight. Now I'll take the backing off of this. What are you doing currently at the moment, Jay? He's doing some graphics for some promotion, which I think we're um, which we're running currently. I think is that what you're doing? Yes, yes. and the graphics for the Double Wonder card in ah. Matrix. So that's going to go over on that. Like that, so that ribbon has just given that a spot of colour, and then I'm just going to grab my snips in again here, and I'm then just going to just nip off the end part like that so there we go there's another card using the stripe the strip or the stripe technique and um, which i quite like that and i'm actually quite liking the fact that i left off that top part there as well but you could if you wanted to you could go the whole thing and then you could then continue on and then do the whole card but it's a great way of doing up some scraps so you can you can even use these now some banners for later on if you wanted to with some other bits as like some ac accents behind some sentiments but yeah, that's a good way of using that up. All right, so there is card number three of four. So we're gonna move on to the last one now. So that's that one, that's that one. And that was the third one. So we're now going on to the, using some of the Knight of Navy cardstock. So we've used the um, soft suede so far with the card bases and the mossy meadow so we're now using the knight of navy as the card base here i've gone ahead and i pre-cut a piece of um some extra very vanilla whisper white so this is being cut to 12 and a half centimeters to it's 9.4 centimeters because it's just it just gave me the nice um because the piece of paper which jay cut last night measured in at nine so i wanted to go four four millimeters either side was quite a nice we find it's quite a nice um border so that's going to go on that one there and then that's going to go down like that one right there so and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to stick those down straight away so i just need to just decide what way around i'm going to do it yeah it's it's that way so I'm going to have the, the leaves so it'll probably just be easy for me to grab another glue <laughs> we do have some we do but there's still loads of glue in that so I'm really, I don't want to go open up a new one yet but it's just it's needs to be shaken down so that's going to go on like that so you get this card is using up so some of the offcuts so if you 
this one will probably will you'll need to you're, we're going to be using some of the offcuts of the cardstock so not designer series paper as well on this one so when we cut our card bases down we cut them down to what what did you actually cut them down to jay was it 14.5 14. 14. okay yeah. so jay cut these down to 14.5 centimeters um so an a4 cut in half or cut at 14.5 um by 21 and you can get two card bases to one piece of A4. But what you're then left over with is a strip like this at the very end. Again, normally I would chuck these, but you know what? I'm, I've surprised myself and I'm gonna use them today. What, what? What, what, yes. And that's gonna go in like that. Jay, would you turn the light on, please? It's getting very dark at the moment. It's just coming very cloudy and gray, and it's like a feeling just feel the lights just um, vanishing. <laughs> so this one's just. You just want the spotlight, don't you? I do. There you go. And I'm gonna stick this down instantly. Source. And that's going to get stuck down. So I'm looking for an even edge this side here and an even edge at the top. So they are two different sizes, but as long as they, for me, as long as they're even that side and even that side, top and bottom, it looks to me appealing to the eye. That would make more sense if I actually fold it in half so you can actually see what I mean. Is that better? That's a bit better. Yes, we need a glue holder. Do you, um, do you want to see what we use as our glue holder? You know, so dirty. <laughs> a sellotape dispenser. <laughs> um, but we we lost the um, we lost the bit which goes in there to actually hold the sellotape. So all we do now is we just use that. To, we, we just we, use it for the, using. Uh, we yeah, we can have three of them in there. So we just use that for storing the, storing them but when i'm crafting i forget to pop them in and i lay them down flat which is why the glue doesn't go um doesn't always go that's how we normally store yeah. it i did see rick atkins um do, he did uh, a very good glue holder um, combo glue holder yeah. so check out his youtube tutorial for it did he do a youtube tu yeah. youtube tutorial yeah rick is part of our global global stamping video hop so um yes yeah, so check out his channel I'm good. Let's go breathing and have a quick drink <laughs> and then I finish quickly sorry. yes all right so these bits here I'm going to use these as some strips so I've already I'm going to go ahead and I've already pre-done pre this so it's already stamped in cut out using the stitch nested labels dies so it's using this one here and I, I've actually used a smaller one on this one obviously because it doesn't fit in there. So a smaller one to fit the fangs. And that's going to go over the middle like that. But I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to use up some scraps. So I'm going to pop these over like this to add some interest. So they're just going to go in like that. And I'm gonna then stick that over the top of that. I think it just adds something different to the back of it, and it's using up that cardstock as well, which like I say would normally go in the bin. So we're just gonna just try. Just trying to work out now if I want to do it on dimensionals or whether or not I want to stick them down. It's gone really dark. Yeah, I can hear I can hear the roads really well. I can hear the cars outside. Um, okay, I'm gonna go down with these ones. Are gonna go down flat first of all. Yes, that was my. Um, that was my thinking there. It's another way of using up the strips. 
just be careful that you don't splod out like I've just gone and done there. So I'm just going to use my tape with thick tool just to wipe that away to start off with. And it kind of then just pushes it underneath again a little bit as well. So we've gone down like that. That's going to then go over like that. And then I'm going to use the second one to then go in the middle over the top of it. And then I'll snip off the ends right here in a moment. The only, the only addition which I've used to these to what Jay had done on his video last night is I just needed to grab myself another bit of wet, very vanilla cardstock to do the stamping of the sentiments because the bit which we had left over wasn't big enough. But did you use scraps as well last night from the very vanilla? Which or did you use a whole sheet of very vanilla? Very vanilla, um, because was... for the mat you need to cut it um, to size. So you do get off cuts, which I use for stamping. And I've just, but obviously, you, likelihood is that you're going to have more than um, you're going to have more than one piece of very vanilla around, maybe potentially. Yeah. So you and can I use, use the, the the normal one, not the thick very vanilla, because yeah. it's only going to be for a layer. So uh, you, you might as well just um, save up on your cards, and uh, it's it's thin enough as well, so it's not your card won't be too bulky or too heavy. With, with all of the layers. Right, so that just needs tidying up a little bit. I was a little bit too... So snips are perfect for these precision um, cutting. I'll see if I was to use, do you want to try to grab me some ordinary scissors? I just want to show the difference with them. This one? Yeah. So you've got these, the, the normal scissors, which again, a lot of us have got. But it will work, but it's not good. But you run the risk of running some more of getting in nice and close to this, yeah. and obviously in cutting right up to the point as well. Whereas the snips are a lot; they're thinner and they're easier. You can get right up to the cards, and you can then snip right to the very, very end as well. Yeah, it's so the tip as well, isn't it? So if yeah. you cut up another piece up to the end. It's kind of and it's kind of messy. I think it focuses there you go okay but with this one here you get a much tidier i, I don't know if not that really is a good example one thing but it's you it, you feel like you're going right to the end i know confidently that i can go right to the very very end and get and that's where i want to be whereas with ordinary scissors it's a little bit of mm, is it quite there it's it's like I'm in there at the moment wanting it to make, match up with the same thing at the end. It's not quite getting there. I know it literally does cut right to the end and they're very, very sharp. I've mentioned this before. I know that because I cut my finger with them and it hurt. <laughs> but I didn't cut my finger with them at home. I had to cut, them out, cut my finger with them at a stamping up event which then caused a whole palaver because I needed a plaster, which then caused a, um, we need to get you to sign a, a form. It was a palaver, Joe, wasn't it? I don't know, I just carried on crying. Yeah, he didn't actually, he didn't actually come and listen to me find out if I was all right and running around, like, oh, I'm bleeding. Um, no, no, you actually come to think of it, you didn't. No, I did, because, but we can find them. And then you were just like, just... Go. Yeah, he's trying to talk himself out of that now. No, he didn't actually come to find if I was actually all right. I've just realised that. I wanted to play with the new product. You did. <laughs> so I'm just going to then just put a bit more glue here for that one. So with the sentiment on this one here, I've done it with the thanks for the oh, thanks for that one, and I've stamped it in Rococo Rose. All right, so this is the last card now. So we're nearly finished. And thank you all for sticking with us. Me, your cards are much better than mine.
Nice. So I think it's probably easier to actually cut it the back side. Yeah, to um, guide you. To where guide you're you, yeah, guide you a little bit. So that's that one there. And then I'm going to then stick, that's just going to go over the top of it. So I'm going to keep this simple. I'm not going to put any, no, oh, I'll tell you, me and I've, I've nearly fallen over twice in the flat over the last, well, one I did actually fall <laughs> over. Um, I, I caught my foot in on the, on the footstool. I nearly did it again last night. And Jay's just gone and nearly done it on the, on our toolbox. And a Rococo Rose, I think just adds, it can even go over like, you know, I'm going to go over to the side like that. So I'm going to pin the point into the middle there and like that. I suppose what I can do, um, if Jay can get it for me, can I have a um, Knight of Navy Blend, please? So what you can do is if you wanted to pop any other embellishments on here, there's another little tip for you. You've got the rhinestones or you've got pearls. If I can find some pearls. Have we got any pearls in here? Uh, we should do. I think that's the point. Continue looking whilst you're doing the other one. Yeah, can you find me the pearls, please? Thank you. So you can grab some of these. And you grab yourself a blend. So I'm going to grab the dark one and I'm going to just colour. So if you haven't got a coordinating colour, then you can make your own. We love our blends. We do. So I'm going to do three of these. We went through our blends collection yesterday just to double check if we need any single ones because the single blends are retiring it won't be available as, any, singles. as singles for uh the next catalog but you can still order them as a combo so we urge you to double check your blends if you only yeah. need one yeah check your blends and, and then order the singles before you can otherwise you're going to have to buy them in the um in the combo packs from later on which again it isn't a problem but you may as well if you've got one which is running out now Buy that one, and then when they both run out, you buy them both again as doubles rather than having duplicates. Just a little tip for you. So I'm just giving that, so they dry quite quickly because they're alcohol anyway. Um, so I've now got a coordinating um, rhinestone. Pick that up. And I'm just gonna, I just wanna just pull those away for a little bit. I haven't stuck this down completely yet. Kind of like think stuff. Where do I want it? And this is where my I um my, my one an area I need to practice on is. You see, I didn't stick it down on purple. I didn't give it a good stick down because I knew that I wasn't. I need to manipulate it a little bit and go right. Where do I want to pop it? Yeah, and obviously, if I wanted to, I could then pick those up and it hasn't stuck and I can know I can still stick it around somewhere if I want to so just as a little tip don't don't push them down until you're happy with it once you're happy with it make them fix them give them a good and then they're, they're gonna start they're gonna stay in place now you can see I've used this Take Your Pick tool a lot tonight or today um, as a tool I would recommend anyone having their snatch. So, which is good. There we go. There is card number four of four. 
So I've made, let's just clear up some room here. And I still not, and the only of, the only bit of designer series paper which hasn't been used are those little bits which are in front of me. So there we go. We have one, two, I just realised I've made them all landscape, which is absolutely perfect for showing you on camera because they fit in perfectly. So there we go, there's my take on the four cards using what Jay had last night. So I hope you like those. Um, so we'll show you, now that one's dried off a little bit. You can now see that lovely shimmer, which has now been given to you by that splatting technique, which we had at the beginning. Um, it, just, it just shimmers and shines now, but is random. So there we go. What do you think? So is Jay going to come over? Is he not, he's not paying attention to me. No, I am. <laughs> so I hope you like those. Let us know. Give us some thumbs up. Give us some. Um, give us some hearts. Ha hold on for a moment. Don't disappear because we're going to give you. A, we're going to show oh, yes. you in a moment what's coming up on our next online class. So um, stay tuned. We're going to quickly show you a little sneak peek in a second. Um, I love and you that. can still book in for it. And that. And that. And that, oh my gosh, you done so well. You know what? I'm actually quite impressed. I'm actually quite pleased with these, actually. Um, I really, I, so I do surprise myself oh, and sometimes. And that's the ornate style. Uh, so yeah, they've all been using the ornate, ornate thanks. ornate thanks. Yeah. So the stamp set which has been used for this one was the ornate thanks with the lovely stitched nested label dies, which are these ones right here like so and I actually haven't used this strip to edge right here yet at the moment that would be really pretty to use so again some use of Jay yesterday used punches and stamps and today I've used stamps and dies to do mine and obviously and then I haven't some of them I haven't used dies and I've just used a trimmer to cut them out to make some flats and some straight edges so there we go what do you think do you like I love them, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so let's show you Jay's ones again from last night. So mine today, so we've got Jay's one there. That's his first one. That's using the strips, which was that one to make one card. So, so you can then you make three of these, or four of them, really, because I could have made them yeah. all So that's that, but I decided to do something different. That was using, that was this template here. Oh, so I that's like that it's one like, there. Well, so that's yeah. that one there with a different template and using the offcuts of the cardstock, which I'm really pleased I did that because that's something I wouldn't normally do. I would normally bin those um, straight away. Then See, it's good to save up. It is. <laughs> and then you've got these ones here, which is the the panels here where you get those the little rectangles. So they were Jay's two there, we're using the same format, so he's done it as a landscape and done it as a as a portrait. And again, using the off-cuts of card as well for that one, which is kind of what I've done over here. Really, really pretty card. And so that's that template and that template for this one. And I quite liked it having it offset. That was just a happen it was just an accident when I did it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what, it's just something different. Yeah. So there's his nice. two there. And we didn't have any templates for this one at all, but any offcuts for this one. What do you mean? Or, and there wasn't any more of these. No, because you get two from two from six by twelve, okay. and then do the for the second one. Okay, so they're the offcuts of that one as well. Okay, so you can only make one with these little panels right yeah, now with that's using why the template. That. So yeah, so there we go. What do you think? Use the paper which you've got. Change the color family as well. Use the. Um, do you just want to grab this paper for me? Yeah. I just want to, so I can just see or one of the papers which has got the actual recipe list in the front of it. It won't. Because I have it. Yeah, so I want to grab another one so I can just show how it is. Another piece of paper. I really don't know what you're saying. Just grab another piece of design series paper, pack of paper. On the designer on the packs of paper, it will always have the recipe list on here, so it would tell you basic black, black basic black cherry cobbler petal pink pool party and whisper of white. Uh, I can't show you on the one which we've got because it's been cut in half and the recipe list isn't available um, because it's been it's been slipped into. But whenever you get a bit of paper, there will always have there what colours have been used and coordinated 
with that pack and that's what Jay's did with this one here is he's used the it's on the catalogs as well it's in the catalogue as well um he's he's done that um so that's where he's then used the color got the color family out and used the color family so we've used the inks which coordinate with it so which is why we know rococo rose works well with this one because it, it works it's it's part of it so it's all been designed through and bought through so there we go. If you'd like to purchase any of the items which we've used, please head over to our online shop. Um, and you can find the links to that in Facebook as well and also on our website, matusucrafts.com. Um, you will also find the links to our classes on there as well. So the classes, I'll let Jay, I just need a little bit of a breather. Yeah. You can just you can talk the class through now. Okay. So uh, the online classes, uh, you will create three exclusive cards with us. Um, instructions for the class uh, is in PDF form and the measurements product list and directions are on there. The measurements uh, we tend to put in Imperial as well as metric and we do that for UK A4 sizes and also we do the US Imperial which is um, letter, uh, I believe it's letter size but it's their card basis is different to the UK, so it's normally eight and a half by 11 inches. So we just have to uh, consider that. Um, and you get invited to a video live demonstration. And so this is the three cards yeah, that we will so be creating for our next masculine. We're using it card. as a male, yeah, masculine theme. So they're the three cards which we're going to be using. All right, so two cards here. So you'll get, if obviously, if you live in the UK, we've got a couple of card kits available. And we're going to be doing one fancy fold card as well. So there, what that's what we're going to be doing. So if you're interested in joining us for that one there, um, and just getting the instructions and a private group, you can worldwide. And we've got a couple of limited packs available for the card kits. Um, so book in for that soon if you'd like to. Anything else you'd like to add? No, nope, I think that is it. No? Okay. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, um, let's turn you around. And you can see us. So I can see some nice comments coming through. Great bunch of cards. Thank you very much. Um, I'm pleased you liked that. See ya. Yeah. Good. Well done. Thank All you. All right. So yeah, nine cards created over two sessions. So you can see if you if you need a couple of hours to do something, then um, you use up that paper because I've just had fun creating those cards. Actually, it's really been really quite good. Cool. Cool. Excellent. Thanks, guys. We'll be back on when. What day is it? I don't know, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, isn't it? We'll be back on Sunday at um, about seven o'clock. Okay. Yes. See you later. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.